Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today? How are you doing? You doing okay? Doing alright? How are you doing? You doing okay? You doing alright? You're welcome. <clears throat> welcome back to life presentation again. You're welcome in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. To my humble kitchen again. So yeah, the title might um, surprise you. You know, the other day I did um, some garden egg. And um, I have some that um still there. And I kind of feel like, oh, excuse me. All right. So I kind of feel like, and by the way, we are back. I'm we are back home. So you can see the background. Of course, I've changed, and I thank God for taking over to His glory. So, yeah, I kind of feel like, what can I do with the other one, then, what can I do with the other one, then an idea popped in my brain, and if you're like me, that, um, that does you know have ideas and all that well let's dive into this together let's find out is it only um yam or is it only by eating what's it called Got the heads that you can do that, but no. So, we'll be cooking some spaghetti. As you can see, what I'm doing here is that I'm cooking just the spaghetti. Over here, I've started cooking eggs, and right here, you will see what we'll do shortly, all right, very soon. So, let's get this spaghetti cooking, cooking, I don't think I want to use everything, but I'm trying to see if I should or not. Mm, maybe I should. Hmm? Let me do so. Because I want extra. I want some to be left. Okay. I'm going to definitely have to pour water in this spaghetti, right? Okay. But let's... Um, Let's cut it first. Okay. Voila. So I'm trying to get water waiting on that. Okay. So over here, I put some oil that I used last. Alright, let's add some water to our spaghetti.
Okay. Okay. Well, don't say why is water that much. Well, I just want to avoid this. Okay. So we are going to put this okay and I'm not gonna put anything in here for now I'm not gonna I'm trying to use the spatula to kind of divide it the more all right Bless you. You okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Alright, God bless you. Okay. So... Now that I've gotten that, okay, I am just going to let this one do its thing. Okay, so this one do its thing and let's come here, okay. Okay, sorry about that. I went for some paper towel. Okay, so let's come here. If you were covers on my channel, you know I like to kind of multitask. So let's come here and I'm going to go ahead and quickly open this. Actually, I said garden egg. I mean egg plants. All right. Eggplants, okay. Oh, not again. I'm going to have to open up this before we commence. life generally with you how is the day going with you and how was the week how was your week how was your weekend the good love be with you okay? the good love be with you so going to be using this oil oh you can see what i am doing right here okay so we are waiting on this to open and then we commence there you go okay so right here i opened a diced tomatoes so we are going to commence 
with the diced tomatoes. Okay, we are commencing with the diced tomatoes. So if you have any, where's the cover of this? Where did I put the cover? I don't know for now. So, um, give me a minute. I'm looking, 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 looking. I can't find it. Anyways, so if you have any diced tomatoes, you can use a diced tomatoes. Or better still, you can decide to um, cut tomatoes. All right, I've seen it. It's right here. Okay, better still, you can decide to cut tomatoes and use, you know, cut it in form of a diced tomatoes, okay? So after eating your oil, which we are going to do right away, at the same time, checking on your spaghetti, make sure it is uh, cooking, you know. Okay, it's cooking. Is that a thunder lightning? Can you please look through the window? Is that thunder lightning? Okay, so once the oil is out, not really out yet, but I'll, yeah, the oil is okay. So we go ahead and pour the tomatoes inside, okay? We go ahead and pour the tomatoes inside and um, you go ahead and put whatever spices you want to put in this but if you have like i said a leftover eggplant if you have a leftover eggplant, bear in mind that you have already, you know, sauce it and all that. Okay? Bear in mind. So, you are going to use that to limit it. But if you just like bought a fresh one, then you are going to do this process. Okay? Put your spices accurately okay but if you have a leftover like i do then um don't you know watch the spices you put so initially i put cloves a little of nutmeg because too much of nutmeg is not good it can sour up your um what was it called food all right the egg is done i've turned off the stuff a little bit I'm going to attend to it some onion flakes okay so put some onion flakes in it let me get a spoon all right so we had some onion flakes in there Some turmeric and you know when you use turmeric you want to use um, black pepper okay so because of the cucumi in the turmeric so some black pepper all right I keep saying that in all of my videos just in case somebody skip it in one of my videos they can hear it so don't get tired of me saying that all right don't say she keeps saying that yeah i will keep saying that so that a new person that just listened to my clip 
we know about it. All right, so garlic powder, and you know, ground ginger, okay? So let's put that, all right? So after doing that, the next thing on our agenda is to add some seasoning salt, okay? So we are going to go ahead right here and add some seasoning salt. Remember, I have in mind that the other one already has some spices in it. So if not, like I said, just um, do it, you know, accordingly. So along with this, because I'm cooking spaghetti, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add butter to this. Okay. So let's add butter to it. And the essence of the butter is to help our spaghetti because I did not put butter in the spaghetti while boiling it. So I'll just go ahead and add butter according to the size of what I am cooking. So what you are cooking will determine, um, it will determine um, the amount of butter, but don't um, overdo it, okay? So don't overdo it. Okay, so we got that in there. What is going to happen next is that you're going to go ahead and mix that together. At the same time, I'm checking on my spaghetti. So, for the person that is just starting it from the beginning, okay, we are going to allow this to fry to some extent, okay. For the person that is just um, starting the um, eggplant, I mean, starting the eggplant, this is the point in which you will go ahead and, um, you know, slice your eggplant and put your eggplant in there, okay. But for someone like me that have some eggplant already fried, seasoned, and the way I did it, I've already posted it. They have some of this done. I don't need to add it at this point. Okay? So if you have any leftover eggplant, don't add it at this point. Allow this, okay, to fry to some extent. Let me show you what we have here. Let me bring it closer to the camera. Okay? So that is what we have right now. Alright? So the egg is done. I want to go ahead and pour the hot water out and put some cold water in it. Let's talk about staying out of people's business. Okay? Staying out of people's business. I don't know, maybe I've talked about this in one of my clips before. But it's very, very important and very, very imperative that we stay out of other people's business. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, so over here I put added cold water to my eggs. So I'm going to let the eggs to be to rest while um, we take care of this, okay? So while this is frying on this one side, 
I'll go ahead right here. Let me see it's not hot. And I'm going to be breaking some eggs. Okay. So as you can see, I'm cooking like one whole pack of spaghetti and a little one that you saw with me earlier. Okay. So you can tell the measurements except for the ingredients we determine on what exactly you know you want okay okay so let's cut let's um break this eggs i mean okay so staying out of people's business is very very imperative let's talk about social media gossiping you know how some people carry celebrity news or a celebrity talk and you know they talk about it they make fun about it they make jest about it you are spreading somebody else family gossip in the name of i love them i love them if you love them call them you know call them if you love them email them Send them a message. Send them a message. You know, pray for them. If you cannot do any of these things, pray for them. That is love. That is true love. Not you, in the name of you posting it on your wall, on your social media, you know, you posting your name. Bringing the family matter to your platform in the name of I love them. It's okay if you want to talk that, oh, people that are talking about them, you know, don't talk about them, don't talk this, don't talk that. But let's be very sincere with one another. Okay? So at this point, you break your egg. As you can see, I didn't add anything to my eggs. And I'm pouring my eggs in here. Okay. So let's be sincere with each other. Let's be sincere with one another. Is there no more topics that can be discussed? Is there no more conversation that you can engage in? Must you help in broadcasting the problem that is happening in that individual home must you so if you have any left over don't add it yet until you fry your egg okay but if you are just doing it freshly okay you know i told you that at the point you had your fresh um, eggplant so at this point when you see that your eggplant is cooked then you go ahead and um, pour your egg inside or when your eggplant is like it's cooked but not overcooked though then you add your egg inside okay just spread it out and add your egg inside so you need to understand christians out there don't engage in social media gossiping it's a sin okay as you can see So we get our garden egg. I mean, I keep on saying garden egg. I mean eggplants. I'm gonna to have to change the title of this message to eggplants. So we get our eggplants at this point, and we go ahead and pour it inside. Okay. So just get it, get it, get it, get it. and fry it together
so I have some steel let's like I have some like fried steel and I want to add some steel to it you don't have to add steel to it okay I just want the steel in it and I feel like I need to add some oil to this okay So like I said, you don't have to add steel to it. But if you choose to, you are more than welcome. It doesn't determine if you enjoy this del um, delicacy the more or not. It does not determine that, okay? It will just, um, it helps to... Kind of, it depends on the stew though. What I added to it is a fry stew. And you all know that fry stew, you know, tastes, um, depending on what you sauce it with and how you fried it, it tastes sweet, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, at this point, I will allow this to fry a little bit, okay? I'll let it fry right back. Okay, so please don't engage in social media um, gossiping, okay? It's not a good thing. You know, anyone that gossip, gossip is a sin. Let's call it as it is. Gossip is gossip. Gossip is a sin, okay? Gossip is a sin. It doesn't make God happy. I'm sorry for not being around. I had to go for some things. You know, when you are cooking, you remembering this and remembering this.
All right, let's see how uh, our something over here is fine. Okay. So, God will help us. Okay, our spaghetti is cooked. Let me show that to you. You can see, understand you are hearing in the background is the microwave. Our spaghetti is cooked. I need to go and reduce some of the water and I'll be back, okay? Thanks for your patience. The water of the spaghetti is reduced. As you can see, it's almost like there's no water inside. Like, it's like really, really reduced, okay? So, you sieve out the water, okay? Sieve out the water. Sieve out the water. Let's come over here. So we are going to go, we are going ahead to put the meat you want to use in here, okay? See, the word of God makes us to understand that God eats gossipers. God eats backsliders. God eats talking behind someone. And anyone that engage in this, they are not going to make it to heaven. You must understand that. 
that whoever engages in this will not make it to heaven. So, I turn off the stove to let that steam a little bit together. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry. I turned off the kitchen light. I was going to turn off the dining light. Then I turned off the kitchen light. Okay. So when you begin to hear this seasoning sound, it means it's beginning to, you know, come up together. You know, because I brought it out of the freezer, so I had to first microwave it. So it's pretty much like, you're doing some sauce or egg preparation or something or vegetables that you want to pour in your spaghetti, okay? The only difference is just that this one is eggplant and of course fried egg. You know, you know, you know. Oh no, I don't want to waste it. <sighs> okay. I can tell this is ready. See? So you can tell this is ready. So what I'm going to do, let me show it to you, what I'm going to do at this point is that, should I switch it so that you can see better? Okay, let us switch it and let's raise it up a little bit. So when you get your prep ready, okay, remember that the water of this spaghetti has been completely removed. Okay, so remember that. So you get this preparation done in a fry pan, in a pot, or whatever you want to use. And um, you go ahead and pour it inside your spaghetti at this point. Okay? So if you want to put like crayfish, fish or whatever, this is the, you are going to, you would have put it inside before pouring it inside, you know, your spaghetti. So make sure that you don't allow your spaghetti to be salt. I mean, when I mean salt, I mean munchy. But I, you know, just um, adequate enough. As you can see, if you can see that. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn back the stove. I remember my cooked egg that I cooked earlier. I'll go ahead at this point. If you have time to crack your egg before now, you can do that. If not, you crack your egg and you throw those eggs inside because you want them to, you know, I won't use the word marinate, but um, just throw your eggs inside. Okay. Okay. 
So let us tell one another the truth. Stay out of other people's business. Don't have to promote. You see, you're just going to go ahead. Be careful with the egg you put inside. If you want the egg to come out, you know, for... As you can see, I am being careful of the egg that I put inside the food. And at this point, we're just going to cover it and let it steam together, okay? You are really going to enjoy this dish. I can tell you that. All right, so just gonna cover it and let it steam together. Okay. Don't stay too far. Don't go far away from your food. You don't want it to get burnt. So here we are. Just making sure that our food steams together. Making sure that the egg is not like um, sitting on the pot. You know what I mean, right? Alright, let's look for the top egg. Okay. You can have a look at that. Don't say I cannot eat that dish. You don't say you cannot if you've not tried something out. You know what I mean? Don't say you cannot if you've not tried something out. Don't imagine that you cannot eat this dish. This dish is a very, very nice delicacy. You'll be very surprised the way it's, you will appreciate it. You'll be very surprised the way you will like it. If you're tired of cooking spaghetti in any other way, try this dish out you will really really be grateful you will be grateful for it that's all i can say i won't say too much so just when you try it and you like it let me know when you try it and you don't like it let me know i mean we are different from each other you know we are individual so let me know if you like it let me know if you do not like it but let me just know how you truly, truly, truly appreciate this dish when you try it out, okay? Okay, so let's get some spaghetti. There you go.
you are very very you are very very welcome to join all right so let me know how you like the dish let me know how you enjoy the dish as you can see our eggplants can you see the eggplants in it an egg you can still see the eggplants right here okay and of course our eggplants you can see some eggplants and fried egg and spaghetti is done let me take it a little bit off the stove So like I told you, this dish is a nice dish that I want you to try out and tell me how you love it. Father, we thank you for this dish. We ask and pray that you cover this dish with the blood of Jesus and let it do us good and not others it is well with our spirit soul and body in jesus name we'll cover this join us lord in eating and we we'll pray that you please provide for those that have none to eat and to drink this day that no one in the world will die of food poison no one in the world will die of hunger and thirst in jesus name thank you jesus in jesus name we'll pray Amen. This food is covered in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yeah. There you go. I'm trying to get that garden egg, man. You're welcome. You can see. Mm. this is a very nice dish of course a bit spicy because i put some spice a lot of spice when i was doing the eggplant so yeah this really really is awesome very nice delicacy Give it a try if you're tired of just cooking spaghetti like that. I know that idea on your table, so give it a try, okay? And stay around, stay out of people's trouble. Once it's not yours, you don't attend to it. Even if it's yours that concerns you, you take it to God in prayer for duration. Don't spread another person's matter in the name of I love them. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it because I love them. It's not a good thing. Don't make fun. Don't make jests. Of another person's situation and circumstances it's not a good thing and just because their own sin is however that had happened does not justify the sin that you have seen in the past or the sin that you are sinning, okay? The Lord will help us. He will really help us. Please be mindful. Take care of yourself. Let's be very careful and watchful. And, um, don't let the coming of the Lord meet you 
gossiping, backbiting, talking ill about another person. Okay? Don't let it happen. Don't let the coming of the Lord meet you unprepared. As you do that which pleases the Lord. It is my prayer that He will help each and every one of us to make it to heaven at last in Jesus' name. Stay in the Lord. Stay holy. Stay righteous. It's time for this dish to go down well. Mm, I think with some drink right here. As you can see, you can enjoy your meal with any drink of your choice. So this is going to be going down with Vita Malt Plus. So this is non-alcoholic drink. It says aloe vera, ginseng, royal jelly, non-alcoholic malt beverage. So you can find something like this in an African store. Okay? So you can enjoy your meal with any drink of your choice. Any drink of your choice. As long as it's not alcoholic. I don't support alcohol. Pardon me. Whenever I say any drink of your choice in any of my clip, that excludes alcohol. Okay? You can enjoy it with fruit wine, juice, any preference that you delight. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this dish. Hope your family does enjoy this dish. Oh my, look at some garden, more garden eggs in there. Hope you enjoy this dish and um, stay blessed, stay holy, stay righteous. So I come online again, I remain yours in Christ. God bless you. The Lord be with you. The Lord care for you. God will take care of you. Bye-bye.